hello guys welcome to my channel today in this video i'm going to show you how to fix this initialization error so if you're receiving this error with the game on computer then please follow the steps shown in this video now before performing any troubleshooting step first of all check for any server outage so if there is any server outage you might face this error now for this you can go to uh, dead by daylight website or maybe go to dead by daylight forum or you can even go to x uh, page and then if there is any outage they will let you know over here and then you can check if there is any outage then in that case you have to wait if there is no outage but still you are receiving the error then please follow the rest of the steps shown in this video now the first step is to perform power cycle to perform power cycle first of all shut down your computer so shut down your computer after you shut down your computer uh, unplug the power cable from the computer turn off the wi-fi router wait for a few seconds and then restart your wi-fi router then connect the power cable back to the computer and then restart your computer and then you can check relaunch the game and then check still not working then make sure date time time zone and region is correct on your computer so at the bottom right over here you can see the date and time make a right click on date and time and then click on adjust date and time and make sure set time zone automatically this is on also make sure set time automatically is also on and then click on sync now sync now is important if you receive any kind of error over here click on sync now multiple times and then go to time and language go to language and region and make sure your country is selected over here and then launch the game still not working the next step is to run these commands these commands are provided in the video description type in cmd in windows search box make a right click on command prompt app and then click on run as administrator make sure that you open this command prompt as an administrator only now copy the first command and then paste it over here hit the enter key now copy the second command so run all these commands one by one all these commands are provided in the video description Now, once you run all the commands, then restart your computer. Restart is a must after this. And after the system restart, you can launch the game and then check. Still not working. The next step is to use VPN. So, like if you are using VPN, you can turn it on and then check. If you are not, uh, if you are already using VPN, then you can turn it off and then check. For many users, uh, using VPN has worked, so you can try this. The next step is to try Google DNS server. Now, for this, you can type in control panel in windows search box and then click on control panel go to network and internet and then go to network and sharing center then over here uh, click on your wi-fi or click on your internet over here and then go to properties over here and then select internet protocol version 4 tcp ip select this and then you have to click on properties and then select the option which says use the following dns server addresses now for preferred DNS server, type in 8888 8, 8, 8. and for the alternate DNS server, type in 8844 8, and then put a check on validate settings upon exit and then click on OK, close this and then close this and then you can check. If that does not work, uh, uncheck IPv6, check it once, uh, check it once you are done playing the game. So. Now for this, uh, go to your Wi-Fi, click on it, and then go to properties. And this time, scroll down, select this one, uh, which says Internet Protocol version 6, TCP IPv6. Select this, and then you have to uncheck this. Make sure that you uncheck this Internet Protocol version 6, and then click on OK, and then relaunch the game, and then check. Once you are done playing the game, you can just... Uh, put a check back just check it once again now still not working the next step is to switch to different network so if you have any other network available uh, you can switch to different network and then you can check
once you are connected to different network now you can launch the game and then check still not working use mobile hotspot so turn on the hotspot and uh, mobile data on your phone and then connect to your phone network now turn on the data on the phone and then turn on the personal hotspot now uh, you can go to wi-fi and connect to your phone network so if you see your phone network over here connect to your phone network and then you can relaunch the game and then you have to check now you can check still not working uh, the next step is to use ethernet connection so if your computer has a ethernet port and if you have a ethernet cable switch to ethernet connection you can just select uh, connect using the wire ethernet wire and then check next step is to rename dead by daylight folder in this location now for this you can open file explorer go to this pc open c drive now open users folder now open your username folder now open app data folder if you don't see app data at the top click on view select show put a check on hidden items and then open app data folder open the local folder over here you can see dead by daylight folder create a backup first you can paste it to the desktop uh, once you have a backup created now you can rename this folder and now relaunch the game and then check still not working the next step is to run easy anti-cheat setup file now for this you can go to steam make our in the game select manage click on browse local files and open easy anti-cheat folder here you can see easy anti-cheat setup file make a right click click on run as administrator click on yes to allow even if you don't see anything just relaunch the game and then check still not working then reinstall or install easy anti-cheat now for this you can copy this command and then copy this entry actually and then make a right click in the game select manage browse local files and then open easy anti-cheat here you can see easy anti-cheat setup make our active show more option click on create shortcut once shortcut is created make our right click go to properties and then here you can see target so at the end you will see inverted comma so give one space and then you can just after inverted comma there is one space then install space p r o d hyphen f n and then you hit apply click on ok and then make a right click on this shortcut and then click on run as administrator this will install easy anti-cheat once again even if you don't see anything if you see a command prompt window just for a second still now you can launch the game and then check if you face any problem then you can delete this shortcut you can try this there is no harm you already have this setup file now still not working the next step is to allow the game exe file to antivirus programs so if you have any third party antivirus like avast not on bit defender mcafee whichever antivirus program you have allow the game exe file to antivirus program now if you're using windows security go to windows settings go to privacy and security windows security and then click on virus and threat protection scroll down at the end you will see manager ransomware protection click on it click on allow an app through control folder access click on yes to allow click on add and allowed app browser apps now go to the game installation folder and then open the game folder in my case this is the location and then select this exe file click on open again click on add and allow app browser apps and then open dead by daylight binaries win64 select this exe file click on open again click on add and allow app browser apps and then go back and then open this easy anti-cheat and then open check if there is any other uh, kind of uh, exe file so in my case i think that's it yeah so once added now type in control panel in windows search box and then go to control panel system and security windows defender firewall click on allow an app or feature through windows defender firewall change settings allow another app click on browse and then again go to the game installation folder open the game folder select this exe file click on open click on add and then again click on allow another app click on browse and then open this folder binaries win64 select this exe file click on open and then click on add in my case it is already added again click on allow another app click on browse and then go back and open easy anti-cheat select this exe file click on open now you can launch the game and then check still not working the next step is to 
restart steam just restart steam exit steam and then relaunch steam and then check if that does not work run game as an administrator now for this make a right click on the game select manage click on browse local files and then try this exe file make a right click on dead by daylight and then click on run as administrator and then you can check if that does not work open dead by daylight binary is bin 64 you can make a right click on this and then click on run as administrator and then you can check still not working the next step is to restart steam we have already done so just ignore this now the next step is to verify the game files now for this mega right click on the game select properties go to install files tab and then click on verify integrative game files once the verification is 100 percent complete launch the game and then check still not working the next the last step is to update windows to the latest version for this open windows settings go to windows update or update and security and then click on check for update once you have to download and install all the updates once installed restart your computer and after the system restart launch the game and then check so one of the steps shown in this video should help you to fix this error so that'll be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel